and welcome back to the sub-zero temperatures of Sherbetland! Yeah, that's what we're doing. Boss level. Thankfully, this is the final level of Sherbetland. Now, this is a rare example of a boss level you can come back to, because you're not allowed to redo any of the other boss levels. They become inaccessible. But this one you are allowed to, because this one is never technically beaten. And indeed, Sherbetland itself is never technically beaten either. Because you can always come back, and you can keep fighting the boss as many times as you like. That's the interesting feature about this one. But yeah, until then, underwater ice physics have to be dealt with. Uh, this is a giant block that gives you a giant coin that's worth a hundred! Well, I forgot to mention that those exist. There's a couple of giant power-ups to that effect. I think there's a heart as well, that might just give you 50 heart points straight out. Which you're gonna want, because 50 heart points, that's half an extra life in one go. But, let's face it, it's the hundred coins one everyone's gonna be really after. Okay. Okay! So apparently I'm Solid Snake now. That's fine. Uh, getting the coins out of these ones is a pain in the backside. We carry them to very specific locations and then do the shit. And if you're not careful, they get caught under blocks or they get stuck with another one, and then and you're in all kinds of trouble. And you're knocking them around like fucking sacks of potatoes. Thankfully for me, though, we got that one, and there's a way back up to get this one. I'm doing well. I like that. I like doing well at things. Especially games, and especially Wario Land, one of my favourite games. Not my favourite game of all time, but certainly up there. Probably my first... Bleh, probably my favourite Game Boy game. But that's neither here nor there. Or anywhere! Left, right, centre. Up, up, down, down, left, right, B, A, B, A, start. Wow, how did that happen? Yeah! Spiky wall logs! Hurrah! Because if there's one thing I really thought Wario Land was missing, it was spiky wall logs. And spiky hermit crabs of death. Great. Let's try that shit again, how about? From the beginning. Once more from the top. With less screw up and more more trombone. I think we need more trombone action in this in this orchestra, children. Yeah. That's what we need. Do you know what I really need above all else? A fucking jet hat, that's what I fucking need. Unfortunately, there isn't one to be found anywhere. Typical. Heart points is fine and all, but I'd really rather have a jet hat, like this one. So I can kill you! And indeed, the hedgehogs of underwatery doom. And I've only just noticed that these pelican... ...things have got bandanas on. I never noticed that before. And I've had this game a long ass time. I don't know why, but I think already cracked blocks have a higher percentage chance of having coins in. I'm not sure how true that is, but it, it always feels that way, from what I've experienced. Oh well, anyway. 100 coins. No complaints here. As long as we don't lose them again. Wario's swimming animation has two frames to it. Not such an impressive feature of the game, perhaps. I guess you kind of have everything. By not have everything, I mean kill hedgehogs, body slams. Huh. I could be wrong, but I don't think there's a hedgehog Pokemon at all. Someone correct me if I'm wrong about that, because I can't think off the top of my head if there is one. There probably is, and I'm just being retarded, but whatever. A rare example of something I do off topic, I do actually want you to put in comments. Anyway, coins! It is the emergent feature of this gameplay. But it is this gameplay. Coin collection. I really miss Wario Land games. I mean, they got pretty bad after the first one. The fourth one wasn't terrible, but the second and third ones were terrible. But, yeah, they should come back and do them right. And if anyone says that Wii one where you shake the remote, fine, but I don't really fancy shaking my remote all that much. It's all the same to you. See, the Wii games I like the best are the ones where you don't use the gimmicky motion control bullshit. The ones I like are the ones where you're just fucking games. I know. Just me, I guess. And on that note, the PS3's complete copy of the Wii mode is a pretty stupid idea, since it wasn't that great a gimmick to begin with, so why would you steal it? But there you go. Enough of my rants and ramblings about the world. It's time for Wario Land and coins. Lots of them. And jet pots, which I probably shouldn't have wasted. 
Yeah, as if you didn't think the logs were spiky enough the first time. Ah, well, here's some more spikes in case you didn't get enough spikes. I think there's supposed to be one there, in that gap where the coins were, but alright. We'll run with it, for now. And there's one there. A good old fashioned single spike log. Well worth getting through to the end of this for the coin total, because this is one of those levels you can do over and over again for coins, and it's probably better for it than that Rice Beach one. Almost at the boss now, I think, just this one room to go. With Buckethead in it, everyone's favourite fez-wearing knob face, who is now a coin, and nothing more. Here we are then, the boss! A boxing penguin! You can't body slam him, and if he punches you, you get hurt, obviously. You can jump on his head, and that's how you damage him. Of course, then he gets a spiky helmet. Then you do have to body slam him in the back and the back alone to remove it. If you're wondering about the door, it allows you to just exit the level. It doesn't count as beating the boss, though. That's a get out of jail free if you're a small Wario, pretty much. Because you can't beat him if you're a small Wario. And instead of dropping a horde of coins, he drops giant hearts to give you three extra lives each. Holy crap! My voice was breaking! <laughs> so yeah, lives generally not a problem anymore. Lots and lots of lovely shiny coins. Go with the ones we have already. Let's leave. And now Sherbet Land is at last complete. So we can return to Mount Teapot. And now we've got to do this level normally. So next time on Let's Play Wario Land, Mount Teapot level 2 normally, and the rest of the game normally.